Welcome to Girl Talk. We're filming today at America's Best Flowers. They're out in Cottage Grove. They also have a smaller store in Edgerton. Great place to go. And if the cold temperatures are making you think ahead to spring, they've got you covered. Mm -hmm. The Garden Expo is coming up, and they're going to be there. So awesome. um, do you guys ever go to that? I've never I've gone. Not been, no. Not been? I've heard great things, though. It's yeah. supposed to be huge and just filled with great things and it, lots of fun. It really takes your mind off winter, so mm -hmm. we highly recommend mm -hmm. it. Obviously, it's great because 20,000 plus people visit. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's, That's incredible. incredible. Yeah. We're also thinking ahead to Valentine's Day. We'll have Zoe Schuler. She's with Zibella Boutique. It's a plus size boutique. And she's got some great Valentine's ideas for outfits, accessories, and gifts. Mm -hmm. I love yes. that. She has so much more than just clothing, and she's so good about style. She is. So she'll bring in some examples. And we always tease that she should check her inventory uh, before leaving <laughs> yeah. her interviews. <laughs> she brings a lot on set that she's we got love. The best we bond over her. Yeah. The best jewelry. Yes. I have some of her jewelry. It's great. I mm -hmm. love it. She's a fun, fun gal to have on our show, too. We're also looking ahead to prom. When is prom? Is it? April? Like April? That's Sorry, it's so sunny in here. School. It's so some, wonderful. Some schools actually start as early as end of March, believe it or not. Really? Oh, gosh. Yes. Hmm. You know, just for fun, I went to Google, and I just put in prom, and I was curious what would come next. Sure. What do you think came next? Dress. Dress. Absolutely. Guess what was second? Date? Prom dresses 2018. Oh, oh there you well. go. The third was prom dresses shops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So prom dress is really. Who's googling for a date? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone catch that? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so we'll be meeting with Moments to Cherish Bridals, and she's got more than bridals. She's got dresses for prom. Yes. Big topic right now. And well, some examples that we're going to show off yeah. too. That's the fun part, right? Looking at the dresses. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. You remember prom? Mm -hmm. It was a while yeah. ago, but it was great. <laughs> when I was busy googling, I actually got distracted with. Yeah, should I rephrase that? Um, <laughs> got distracted with tips, makeup tips. And I ran across a few that I had never heard before. I thought they'd be fun to share. So for example, for your mascara gals, if you want it to stay put but not use um, like a waterproof, you, the advice was to use regular mascara first uh -huh. and then waterproof over that. So it helps it last, but it comes off easier. Okay, so you don't wow. need as much with well, the it's not water so attached. Right. I, I guess so. Lashes. How about this? Yep. Put deodorant on the sides of your feet so that I've your shoes that. don't give you blisters. You've heard of that one? Yeah. yeah. I've heard of that. yeah. Does it work? It helps with like chafing. You can do it too if like you have your legs ever chafe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You're wearing something, or you're going to be in a swimsuit all day. It works on your. Thighs. I assume this has to be like that one of the of. sticks, not a, a spray or a roll. Correct. On. Okay. All right. <laughs> Correct. Okay. How about this one for your updo? Mm -hmm. um, to keep your bobby pins from sliding out, you spray them with hairspray first. That one I've heard. First. I have yep. heard that one too. Oh, I've never gosh, heard of that I thought one. these were so new. <laughs> well, you know, those I've are heard good reminders because I've forgotten about that one and yeah. never used that tip. Uh -huh. But it's a good one, especially when you've got fine hair like myself. Mm -hmm. And speaking of fine hair, one way to look like you have fuller hair, someone said to use eyeshadow that matches the color of your hair and put it along your part. Oh, yeah. So that your part looks smaller it. and your hair looks fuller. I don't have know. a lot to do. <laughs> I think they make spray Man. now that you can do with that. I've heard of that yeah. for touch-ups, like yeah. for grays. Yep. The, spray I'm sure for it would gray. work if you didn't have gray. Too. Spray for gray. Mm -hmm. Huh. New product line. That's <laughs> Jeremiah. Coming spring out. of 2018. <laughs> That's all I got, girls. Well, I thought you were going to finish good. us out. We uh -oh. all had to do almost nothing this time. <laughs> That's <laughs> Boy, oh boy, but what a fun show. I wanted to touch on prom because it brings me back to mm -hmm. prom and how fun that is because you know, that's a moment that you only get once in a lifetime. And it's really the first opportunity for a woman to have a like a statement dress mm -hmm. that really, right. you know, point. kind of speaks to your personality and, and you just have this feeling. And that's the first time that you get to do that. So it's really important. You know, we always look ahead to the wedding dress and the dream dress, but the prom dress is really the first time you get to, it's not white. You can pick fun colors, whatever mm -hmm. you want. So it's a special time. And these days, I feel like the selection is amazing mm -hmm. compared to years ago. Something for everyone. No doubt. Yeah. You guys so can believe around. this. Oh, sorry, Glenn. Well, that's who that's we have next. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's coming up right after the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're at America's Best Flowers today in Cottage Grove, and we'll chat with them a little bit later on. But man, I am just enjoying the sunshine coming through here, and it just makes everything feel warmer, and especially in the winter time. Mm -hmm. That feels so nice. It feels yeah, very nice it feels so here. great. And speaking of thinking of warmer times, we're actually thinking about the springtime because we're talking about prom today with Arlene DeForest. She's the owner of Moments to Cherish Bridals in Verona. 
Oh, prom. I loved prom so much in high school. I can remember my favorite dress, so I'm excited to have you here today. <laughs> Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about what other events you guys have going on relating to prom coming up here. We have a um, prom show on Sunday awesome. at the Wisconsin Heights in Black Earth. So we've got a couple of dresses going to be down there. Perfect. And then the 11th of February, we're doing the Verona prom show. Oh, which fun. there's 15 girls oh, going to fun. be displaying dresses. That's oh, so fun. fun for them. Yeah. Where is that one in Verona? At the high school. So it's a it's a show, uh, I guess, like a runway of all the different right. dress styles. Oh, the girls go jealous. and they're like, I like that one and that one, and right. then they come in later and try them on. Yeah. And does it cost anything to go to those? I, I'm. It's through the high school, so I think that there's a small fee. Sure. Okay. Coming. The girls. But it'll be like worth that. it. Right. Yeah. Lots of fun. You know, you mentioned you can remember your dress, and yeah. I was like, you know what, I can remember <laughs> my dresses from proms, and that's all I remember. I don't remember where we went to eat or what we did. That's such a good point. <laughs> Same thing. That just goes to show you, though, that the dress is really the pinnacle key of making the memory of prom. Mm -hmm. is we the dress, feel like a princess. Right? Yeah. So one day you feel like a princess. Yeah. So right now, Arlene, do you have all the dresses that you're going to receive? Are you done yes. shopping? Okay, so yeah, girls, don't are wait. In. It's in right now. Time Everything's to come there. in. Okay. Yeah. They're Good in and they're going fast off the racks at the manufacturer. Oh, wow, really? So, um, you know, it's get in there. If you're going to order, order now. Okay, good to know. Yeah, because there might be some specials with specific types of styles like we're seeing next to us here that someone has their eye on and you don't want to be disappointed and not have right. exactly what you want on your special day, right? right? So speaking of, I see some beautiful stuff next to me. We were talking about this one before we started. It's so, it's like ocean mermaid color and feel. And then there's some interesting styles over there with like a cool kind of belt piece in the middle of that one. Mm -hmm. Just totally different stuff. I don't remember stuff like this from when I was younger at all. So what are some of the styles that we're seeing? Do you want to kind of the explain? Bi the big one this year is the mermaid. I love so I was that. right on. Yeah. <laughs> is that, and then the two pieces still still a big one. I okay. remember that from um, last year. And yeah. then there's some girls who want more poofy and there's some poofy ones and you know ball gown type ones and I love some that. that are just more you know they're mm -hmm. fuller in the skirt but not real wild. Not sure. too poofy. Yeah. And by the mermaid you mean the shape right? It goes and the then shape. it goes out yep. at the bottom. I love right. that. This one just happens to have the mermaid color right. action too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <Making sure. laughs> I love that and I think it's such a flattering fit. So very pretty. Um, and I know you mentioned this too. Can you buy off the rack? Yes, you, you can, can buy off the rack. Okay, that's mm -hmm. really good to know. So if you see yeah. something, you come in, sometimes it does fit perfectly like a glove. That happened to me right. when I was shopping in high school and it, you know, you have that miracle moment where you feel like the angels are singing behind right. you yeah. uh, mm, and you can buy off the rack. Right. Perfect. And then, um, you know, most girls have to have some alterations sure. of some yeah. type. Right. Mostly the him. You mentioned sure. ordering. So how does that work if someone orders? Is it because they see this, but you don't carry their the size? size? Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Even or I can order anything that's in the catalog. Okay. Perfect. And she keeps track of what is sold to which school, so there are no duplicates. That's so right. wonderful. That's so nice. Yeah. So order quickly. <laughs> yeah. So what sizes do you carry in the store? Um, we've got uh, some zeros up to, I think, 26. Okay, perfect. Something yeah. for everyone. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. And then, of course, you can order more, and you do alterations in-house, so you right. don't have to take it somewhere else. Arlene will take care of you. And Fantastic. if it's one of the newer styles, we have a promotion where you get a pair of shoes. Oh, I love oh, that. Oh my gosh, fun. Yeah. So you get it all in one. Yeah. All, in all one. set. Check it out. Awesome. The list. <laughs> so somebody wants to make an appointment, how do they do so? Because that's just, always the best way if just, they want the whole boutique yeah. experience. Um, call the store at 608-848-5683. I love it. Again, Arlene DeForest with Moments to Cherish Bridals in Verona. Thank you so much. And You're thanks welcome. for bringing these gorgeous gowns. Oh, making us jealous. This is Girl Talk. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are at America's Best Flowers today in Cottage Grove and we'll be chatting with them later on in the show, so stay tuned for that. But it is finally February, which is just crazy, right? This winter has gone by so fast. Well, I guess it is still technically winter, I think. Um, but February is such a great month. Valentine's Day just around the corner and with us today we have Zoli Schuler with Z Bella Boutique and we're talking about Valentine's Day outfits. Yay. Which I love because you can always have a reason to come buy an outfit, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's why Valentine's Day is great. 
Um, what are some of your outfit ideas for this special occasion? Maybe you have a date night, maybe you're going out with the girls? Yeah, we have so many options, but we just did a photo shoot with a local um, model and found awesome. one of our favorite pieces. We've got this gorgeous dress I'll show you guys. Awesome. Um, so it's a sleeveless dress, it's bright pink, mm -hmm. and my favorite part about it is it's reversible. No. Cute. So you can flip it inside out and it's orange on the other side. What oh I gosh, love is I you can wear it now. Were like that. Yeah, <laughs> go out on your date, whatever, and then come spring, you know, it's still bright and fun yeah. and you're gonna wear it all summer long too. I love that. So it's a good piece to buy now and get a lot of wear out of. And it's I great. love that you can kind of show a peak of both colors if you'd like to. Exactly. When you're swishing around. Yeah, and it look it'll look great with a little jacket over it since it's a little chilly now. Sure. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, because you wanna have some dress options, but you don't want to break the bank so you get two for one, literally. Exactly. Um, let's talk a little bit about more casual occasion if you're going out for something a little bit less dressy. Yeah, maybe a night with your girlfriends or something like that. We just thought a tunic and leggings. We were just mentioning mm -hmm. how great we all love <laughs> Which our leggings. we all have on today. <laughs> so <laughs> how about way. a bright pink tunic and then you can always add some pink accessories, cute. a fun hat or Gosh, yeah. she's so cute. She Isn't makes she everything look good. I, I, know. I love it. She looks good in everything. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun in this photo shoot and, and you know there was tons of outfits that we picked but these were our two favorites. That I love for the bright occasion. colors. It's this time of year that we're ready for bright again. Mm -hmm. I agree. After sort of a dress yeah. Winter. Yep. I actually did it with the nail polish. That oh, was my way to yeah. there you go. brighten things up lately. <laughs> Perfect. As much as I love gray. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of brightening things up, what if you just want to perk up an outfit you already have instead of buying an entire new outfit? Yeah, we talked about that during our photo shoot. The first thing that we did was um, we, and this would also make a great gift. So we've talked about these before. They're the ruby ribbon camis. So you don't need a bra with them. It's shapewear and a tank top and a bra all in one. But we even tested them. They're yeah. great. <laughs> and I think but the before and after are crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but it put it under a sheer top. It's like kind of sexy, oh, you know, like or, or if you just need a little red poking through, things like this, or if you have an outfit that you just need a little shaping under. You know, that's make great because clothes look I a little have better. some sheer tops where I always steer away from wearing them because you get so many layers by the time you've got undergarment, tank top, exactly. over the top. So that covers two instead of one. Yeah, one yeah. less. And then the other thing we thought about, if you didn't want to um, buy a whole new outfit, maybe with a sleeveless top or something like that, you mm -hmm. could try our Sleevey Wonders. Guys, so, we're obsessed with these. <laughs> these are, <laughs> you go under your sleeveless top. Yeah. And it, it adds a little bit of drama to your outfit and covers the arms. And they come in tons of styles, lace and sheer and solid and colors. And this is a little bell sleeve. This is so, a bell sleeve, yeah. I which love is my favorite that look. one. So. I love that yeah, one. Yeah, just easy to update wonders. or add a scarf or jewelry. Cute. Yeah, so how about on. if you don't want to buy a completely new outfit, what are the tips you have? Um, adding the jewelry. We, we brought a ton of accessories. Okay. Just, you know, try something a little bit out of the ordinary. Yeah. And, and these are great gifts too, right? For, for mm -hmm. shopping yeah. for great Valentine's point. Day. Yeah, I think um, a lot of men maybe feel a lot of pressure to yeah. go super high end for Valentine's Day, but I think it's the thought that's count that counts. Absolutely. And, you know, if you know your partner loves a great pair of stud earrings, get them a red pair for Valentine's Day. I mean, there's just so many good options yeah. just to know that you've kind of thought about mm -hmm. them. You can't really go wrong with a scarf either. No. So no. versatile. Yeah. Really. I have some of your jewelry and I have to say it, it's not super expensive and it's been great quality. You know, sometimes when you buy something that's not a ton of money, mm -hmm. it doesn't last very long, but yours has lasted and lasted. <laughs> so it's been really nice. Um, before we go, you have an event coming up. We do. In honor of Valentine's Day, we're doing a Galentine's Day oh, event. Oh, cute. So it's Monday, February 12th. And we partner with a lot of our favorite local businesses. So there's going to be um, samples from the Chocolatier and from Di To Die For Bakery cupcakes. There's a um, cotton candy woman that's Ooh. launching a gourmet cotton candy business. And there's skincare lines. And we're having Tia from Contours is coming with her launch oh. line. <laughs> and giveaways and crafts. So it's going to be really fun. It's just from 6 to 8 on Monday, February 12th. Bring your awesome. gal pals. Yes, and it's free. I love it. Yeah. Again, Zoe Schuler with Z Bella Boutique. Be sure to check them out. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thanks. And we'll be back with more Girl Talk right here at America's Best Flowers after the break. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We have been soaking in the rays here at America's Best Flowers. And we've been excited to chat with the folks here. We've got the perfect combo for you, the green thumb and the brown thumb. So no matter where you land in between, we'll have answers for you. And if you want to learn what the term galentine means, this is your chance. I'm joined by Margaret Elmore and Christine Budak. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks. Love being here. Now, we're talking a little bit about Valentine's Day. Let's first talk about flowers and sort of what, what do you recommend? What are some of the, the best gifts in floral? Well, you know, I think 
everybody loves getting roses, but you know, not everybody's a rose fan. So there are, you know, the um, Gerbera daisies, there's uh, lilies, uh, carnations, um, but you know, such a wide variety of different plants and they come in so many beautiful colors. That um, is stunningly yeah. beautiful. By the I way, that, that daisy, see it again, the Gerbera? Gerbera, That yeah. is the Girl Talk flower. It's the Girl Talk flower, awesome. yes it is. That's, that's, I did it right then, didn't yeah. I? You did, and one thing that I love about you guys is you can come in here with a wealth of knowledge and, and specific items that you like, or you can come in with questions, mm -hmm. and you guys will really help put the right thing together for somebody, maybe based on how much care and how much life and how, how long you want it. Um, okay, so, galentine. I have an idea what that means. What is a galentine? Uh, well, you know, it's just, if you don't have a boyfriend or, you know, you know somebody that isn't going to get something, um, your bestie, send her a galentine present, you know? So, I love that idea. Yeah. I'm thinking this would work okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. I would accept that. <laughs> well, and you have lots of other gifts uh, that aren't floral, too. Right, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, we could put together just a, a dish garden of plants. You know, if somebody's not really big into flowers, they want it to last longer. Right. A dish garden um, or maybe a nice, warm, fuzzy teddy bear and some balloons. So I think when people think of America's Best Flowers, we think of maybe more of the outdoor flowers. So this is a good reminder that they have this floral shop here, yeah. and you can build something for somebody, or you can, I mean, customizing, yes. or you can just go free reign and, and, and just build something that you think will work for right. them. And yeah. what's your delivery area? Um, we've got a real wide delivery area, you know, all of Madison, Middleton, Wanakee, um, Cambridge, um, Lake Mills. Marshall. For folks Sunbury. that are cutting it down to the wire, how close can they <laughs> cut it? There's a good it? question. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, we will probably be taking orders day of. Um, wow. Yeah. But, you know, for um, like out of town deliveries, some of the further away ones, we may be cutting off some of that um, okay. just because of uh, the, the volume of orders sure. we'll be having. and. You, know, you recommend a little earlier there. if possible. Definitely, but. yeah. We would really appreciate it, at, you know, at least a few days ahead of time. And, and you, we're in Cottage Grove, but you do online ordering yes, as we well. Do. So if you're n nowhere near here, you can still go online, and right. as long as you're in the delivery area, yes. they got you covered. Yep, yep, You'll yep. be in good hands for sure. Yeah. We're thinking ahead to spring yeah. and the Garden Expo, yes. and this is where your expertise comes in. So America's Best Flower has been part of the Garden Expo for 20 years. Mm -hmm. What's your role with this? Um, well, we're gonna have a lot of giftware and uh, garden center stuff, like showcasing here the gloves and the seeds we'll have on mm -hmm. hand. And then we'll also have the jelly bean rugs. What is that, a jelly, a jelly bean rug? I was wondering what that was Lots exactly. Of, they're very washable. They have a little bit of sticking on the back so they won't slip Not slip, for you. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have seasonal ones. I'm gonna feel, if yeah. I may. Well, it's actually nice. I can see how it would wash well. Mm -hmm. There's a sign on here that says, wash is better than your jeans. <laughs> I've never had a rug where that's true, so I'm excited about this. Yeah. And, and then, then the bags down there are yes. interesting. These are cute little bags we'll have on hand. We sold out last year. Like we have the elephant and his little noses here. <laughs> and then cat, and there's many other uh, different ones we have too. You guys do have so much stuff. So obviously so much more than just the plants. It's mm -hmm. the things to care for your plants, the tools, and then just the fun stuff. And the expertise, that's what I need. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, let's talk a little bit about when, in case folks uh, missed it or haven't seen, but we're talking February 9th through 11th. Yes. So coming up really fast, That's wow. a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Yeah. And it's at the Alliant Energy Center. And am I reading this right? Over 20,000 people attended last year? Yes. That's wow. a lot of cabin fever coming out at the expo. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> My goodness. I can imagine it's important to be involved in things like that because you get the opportunity to really, you know, show not only some of the products and services that you have, but there's great folks here. And um, if you haven't been in, come on in. But you, you can also visit them at the expo and get the opportunity to meet some of the wonderful staff. We certainly have enjoyed it. I would recommend that. Actually, if you have any questions thinking ahead to your planting season or maybe some plants in your home that you're having some trouble with, bring your questions to the expo. Yeah. Experts are going to be there. The We're experts both. at the expo. Maybe that's why it's called that. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> are both of you going to be there? 
I'll be back here taking care of the flower shop. Oh, that's right. Right yeah. at the Valentine's Day. It is right at that time, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. And I'll be at the other flower shop in Edgerton. That's right. You do have there. another location. Yeah. We should mm -hmm. give that a shout out out in Edgerton. Mm -hmm. A little bit smaller, a lot smaller, but very cute stuff there too. We've been visiting at that place too. Yeah, okay. you bet. And just a quick tip as we think ahead to spring. How soon do people start coming in asking about spring planting? Is that starting yet? Well, yesterday we did have somebody come in and ask about um, seed trays, and um, so yeah, you know, people are looking to start. I mean, they want to get their hands in the dirt. We're ready. Mm -hmm. I guess we're ready for spring. Well, boy, we always learn so much from the two of you and everybody here at America's Best Flowers, so thanks for always being such great hosts. We appreciate it. Thanks for right, coming. Thank you. All right, get your gal a Galentine's gift and uh, see him out at the Expo, Alliant Energy Center, February 9th through 11th. Thanks so much to America's Best Flowers for hosting us. Thanks to all of our guests for joining us today. Thank you for watching. We're gonna see you next time right here on Girl Talk. Beauty and styling for Girl Talk provided by the Ultimate Veritas Spa and Salon.